Hey guys, welcome to the Arcade Show. Today we're going to start work on this uh, four-player Simpsons from Konami. Oops, the focus. There we go. Um, I've already taken the marquee off, and uh, it was pretty much hell and tossed it. I've done a few things to it, but not too much. Um, I kind of see it as it is in the beginning, and um, it's typical. Actually, this one's in pretty good shape. Most of the corners are on the control panel. Um, we're going to replace this overlay. Um, unfortunately, this joystick is completely shot. So, I mean, as you can see, it's broken right off. So, we're going to upgrade these joysticks because these are fairly expensive to find the right ones. So, and it's, uh, we're going to take a look at the sides. And uh, I think we're going to touch up the blue. It's in pretty good shape. Got the sides there. And then um, go around the back here. And uh, as you can see inside a little bit. Pretty dirty. So what we're going to do today is um, we're going to pull this uh, monitor chassis out. Um, and give it a cap kit and clean it up. Everything does work. I did test it. Um, the monitor picture is okay. We'll start by cleaning this uh, board up and giving it a cap kit. We'll go from there. Uh, we'll throw a new power supply in eventually and uh, <clears throat> clean up this cabinet, repaint the black, do a bunch of work. So today we're going to work on the uh, monitor um, and give it a cap kit. So I'm going to go ahead and get the tripod set up and we'll uh, pull this uh, chassis out. Uh, first things first, uh, we have to discharge the um, CRT, the second anode right here. What I've done is i got a, a regular screwdriver with an alligator clip, so I'm going to clip that to the, the frame of the monitor. And we're going to snick this thing underneath there. And you hear a little pop. There we go. Oh, just basically I gotta kind of want to make sure we get this nice and discharged. There we go. I'm <clears throat> gonna go ahead and pull our neck off slowly. The section of the of the tube is very fragile, so you have to be very careful. Okay, then go through and remove the two screws. I'm going to go ahead and remove the video connections. If you guys can see this, but back here is a cable. Housing coil right here. We'll remove that. Take the other screw. So, there's also this uh, this black cable that goes to the tube for the ground. Take that off. And as you can see, we got the cable for the coil for the de uh, for the deflection coils. It goes right down to this uh, four pin connector. I don't know if you can see that, sorry. There we go. Goes down to this four pin connector. Just pulls right off. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. And now we have our uh, monitor chassis removed. Oops. One more thing I almost forgot is uh, on the side here. Can you see that? Oh is the, the little remote board. We're going to pull that off too. <clears throat> Someone really screwed that on there. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. 
There we go. Now we got it out. We're going to take this to our bench and we'll start working on the caps. Okay, now we got the monitor on our bench, we can take a better look at it closely. I usually start at the neck and I work my way down. So I can already see already that some of these transistors are kind of loose and that's not good. So we're going to go ahead and cut this uh, back shield off. And yeah, as you can see, this guy's holding on by a thread. So we're going to have to fix that. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's the whole, it's lifting the traces and everything. So we're going to have to bodge this one. <clears throat> so basically what we're going to do is we're going to look at all the solder joints. We're going to check for cold solder, reflow a lot of the solder. And along the way, we're going to put in some new capacitors. Um, you can get kits from capacitors. I'm getting this one from Quisted Quarter. Um, God, there's a, there's a ton of places. You can go and get them individually if you want. Otherwise, they sell these neat little kits. For, and this is a this is a Wells Gardner 7000 series. So uh, you can tell by the the numbers here. Oh, you can't really see that. But there's a it's a 54A70 one. So I don't know. That's 7000 series. So um, if you're not sure what monitor you have, just look on the internet. There's a couple websites that have pictures um, that helps. So we can get our soldering iron fired up and uh, get our. Uh, we're going to be using the Hacko FR300 again. <clears throat> get that thing warmed up. And uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all the caps off and uh, put new ones in and uh, reflow a lot of stuff. So. Let's get started. Okay, well, with this, <clears throat> with this uh, bad transistor here, we're going to have to bodge in some new traces. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting bits of little bits of wire that we're going to basically tie in to all the different points where we're having issues. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. There goes our first bodge. It's not pretty, but it'll work. And I also bridged this second one with uh, some solder there. And this uh, last one's going to be a bit longer, so we're going to do that right away. There's our second bodge wire. <clears throat> we should move it out of the way because we're going to reflow the. I'm going to reflow the solder on the rest of these transistors as well. Um, they're looking pretty toasty, so that way this thing will float a little bit. Probably seal it with some hot glue just for vibration's sake. Um, but yeah, from there we're going to uh, replace caps. So first, we're going to reflow this solder quick. Solder, solder, solder. We're not hot enough. All right. So we looked on our sheet right here, and it says C two O four is a four point seven UF. 160 volt or 250 volt. Um, so C204 is right here. And we can see that it's marked 4.7 UF, which is good. And it's 160 volt. You can always go up in the voltage, but you can't go under. So if this is rated at 200 volts, you can't use a 15 volt. Um, but the capacitance, you should try to keep the same. Um, in some cases, you don't have to, but in most cases, it's best to keep it the same. So, what we're going to do is we're going to flow the solder onto the two points of this capacitor. We're going to reflow the solder to it first. So, you guys can see this. We've reflowed the solder to it. Next thing we're going to come in is uh, next thing we're going to do is come in with our, uh, our hack with the soldering gun, heat it up a bit, pull away. Ah. 
I kind of keep wiggling it like this. That way it can't reform its bond. There we go. You notice on capacitors there would be a white line with a negative symbol and little arrows pointing. That would be the negative side. Um, this is a little hard one to read too. <clears throat> Lots of times there would be a plus on the circuit board. If you can see this or not. There would be a plus, which would be the positive side, or, um, a negative, or a black line, which would be for the negative. This one it just has a little black dot. And on the back of the board, I can see that there's a plus right here. So you have to be very careful when you're putting these back in that you don't screw that up. Because you put these in backwards, they will blow up. be like a firecracker. It'd be a great time. Learn from experience. Once I got it back in... I push the leads through like so, I bend them over a little bit, and then I uh, solder it in. There we go. Got it soldered in good. And then you snip the leads off. Some people uh, wait till the end to snip the leads off. Some people snip it as we go. Basically, you just want to make sure you do them all. And on the neck board, there's only one, so that makes me feel better like I've got something done. <laughs> Even though I have to uh, do all of these yet. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically repeat this process through this whole board here and replace all the capacitors. So it's a great time. So I'm gonna, you're probably going to see this really fast, but for me it's going to be forever. Here. It's kind of hard to see. Sorry, we are. I'm so crowded. Um, I've taken everything out of it. I did uh, the repair to the bottom of the cabinet already, and I've actually just got done repainting the blue. Um, the rest of the art was okay, so I, I tend to like to keep the original art as much as I can. Um, if you see the other side here, what I did is I stenciled off. I didn't stencil, I uh, masked off all the uh, artwork we wanted to keep. And uh, I went and, and repaired the bottom of the game already and put the legs on and stuff. You've seen that in previous videos. And then, um, as you can see, it's totally empty. <clears throat> I bundled a little bit of, there's a, there's a property tag here. I bottled some of those holes up, and I haven't done the black yet. I'm going to be doing that next um, after I sand this down. And I'm working on the monitor right now. And I got the coin doors over here. And the monitor is somewhere back over there. There we go. We got a Terminator 2 in for repair and a um, Turbo Outrun from another customer. And then we have uh, an Operation Thunder Hurricane, I think. Uh, Thunderbolt, my bad. And then uh, Tekken 5 right here. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the mask and we'll see how it looks. Um, I know you can get full side art for this. It's not that expensive, but I actually, what I what I ended up doing was I used, uh, I went to uh, Sherman Williams. <clears throat> I had them, uh, I, I brought a piece of the control panel overlay in, which is uh, in there. I had them match that color for the blue in a, an oil-based paint, which is hard to get done these days. Um, but this this paint is a hell of a lot more durable than uh, like a decal would be, um, and it looks just as good. So I think after I uh, after I peel all this uh, 
uh, these uh, stickers off. I think I might clear it. I'm not sure, just to protect the artwork that's not been painted. Um, I'm not the expert at painting, so let's see if we can even clear an oil-based paint. I think we can. I, it'd be nice to put a clear over this so it all kind of matches. Um, I probably will do that. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and set this up, and we'll pull off those. Uh, we'll pull off the mask. So, just let me. Uh, <laughs> There you go, it turned out okay. Um, there's a little bit down there at the bottom, but we'll see if we can touch that up. And then we're also gonna have to go back in and manually put in these little black dashes that were here. Uh, we'll use that with a paintbrush and some black paint when we do the black. And now it's just a matter of doing the same thing to the other side. Um, now this is a little bit cheaper than uh, doing the decal and I think it lasts longer so for us we're putting you know maybe we'll put this thing out on the street um, for people to play and stuff and um, we can always put a decal on later so I, I mean if the if the artwork's not that bad except for the blue I just try to keep it because I mean this is the original artwork and as much as the other stuff looks nice it's not the real deal so um, so that's it for now when I come back we'll be doing a uh, we're doing the black, I believe, and uh, we'll sand that down and we'll paint up that. And then um, I'm not sure if we're going to put an LCD monitor in this or not. We might. I think the customer might want an LCD monitor. I'm going to have to contact them and see what they want. Um, so either, either or. So, all right. Thanks for watching.